at the World's Fair actually come and ask you questions? Yeah, yeah. and we invited it like, okay, so they were like little kids, and then they were like, what are those fat people doing here? <laughs> and then, well, I was glad that they were because you couldn't say it, but then like those, flat, those like small kids were asking like those questions, and I was like, well, they're from like Africa, and, do, and I was, and I sort of told them like, you know, like what a Fiji are, like, and I asked them those things because they're really like they were babies, they were like seven years old or something. So I just really try to ask um, and raise awareness about this, what the refugees are and who they are, what they're going through and stuff like that. Um, our third goal will like half accomplish, I could say, because. We bonded with Aime, but um, not real, with any other refugees. So in order to improve on this goal, we decided to go to um, Chungking Mansion next week when um, weekends, so that we can have dinner together. And I learned from our college is that for the first meeting, we learned um, a lot about CKM, which is the again the um, refugee where the refugees stay, and we also understood what they really needed, which was supplies and more money for housing. Learning from the cause World Fair was really interesting because we had a lot of refu um, two refugees who came and we shared awareness together and we sort of explained that the refugees can't work in Hong Kong. And the third learning we had was in the community gathering we everyone learned about what goes on in refugees in my island and stuff in Hong Kong. And that's Emma. And we also learned about more about Emma when we had lunch with them. Yeah, and that's the donation box that we add on. We learned that helping others is not as easy as it sounds like, and be open to flexibility, change, and critic, and always have backup plan because we had thousands of plans, and then like all of them got canceled. Some of them were okay, and then we weren't work for it. We had a lot of plans, so it's really important to have backup plan, whatever and whatever reason. As well as planning ahead, way ahead. Like for the high school community gathering, we planned ahead, and we also therefore it could be possible. And another one was develop confidence and bravery to stand up for the whole high school and speak up for um, what you wanted like, to raise awareness for. So when we do self evaluation, we um, I think we develop way more than what we hope for, four times, five times more than what we hope for. And we would like to think that HKI as the whole school board is a part. And one that we could improve on would be the spirituality part which was to create a deeper bond with the refugees. Um, and we could do this because, we, um, yeah, we are going to have dinner with the refugees this week, next weekend. And we're also going to go to World Refugee Day, but unfortunately I won't be able to go because I'll be out of Hong Kong. Yeah, we're also emailing and scheduling things that we can do. So special thanks to these people, because without you guys, this event would be possible. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.